Ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observes, honorary ministers, and all our friends and family who are here with us today. Firstly, I would like to thank you for being here today. It's uh, really a wonderful moment, and the energy in this room is absolutely fantastic. It's people like you who have really made us prosper. People like yourselves who believe in better, who believe in great, who believe in people. It's all of you who have made my father the successful businessman he is today in Uganda. And I would like to thank His Excellency for everything he has done and where he has brought us and this country today, because it's incredible. <laughs> Shin and Jay have known each other since about the age of five and six. The childhood lovers, to be honest. They have been through tough times. They've been through great times. But one thing you always manage to do is put a smile on each other's face. Look at the groom. It's absolutely amazing. When I see you together, when I feel you together, if I can have 5% of what you have in my relationship, I know to be absolutely successful. So thank you for being so great to each other. You set examples for all of us to learn by. You really fight, shout, scream, but the most important thing, after all of that, you're back together and you're stronger than ever. A lot of you might think uh, this was a bit of a shotgun wedding, but there's a reason behind that. Let me just take a few steps back and remind you that Shin and Nye knew each other since the age of five and six. Yes, they had times when they were friends, they had times when they were enemies. But the most important thing is, they both stuck in there. To be honest, I think they both knew they were inevitable for each other from such a young age. There was a point in time when Shin and Jay were fighting, not talking, not speaking to one another, and playing a lot of politics within each other, within their friend circle. And to be honest, I didn't understand all this. So I stayed away, I backed off. And I kept it mutual with my sister, and I continued to keep Jay as my friend. Because I knew one day, your love was inevit inevitable. It had to come together. You couldn't separate these two. They were both fat, that's number one. They were both pretty ugly, if you look back at it. That's number two. But wow, look at your six pack today, Jay. <laughs> Shina, who was it, 84 kilos? 84 or 90? I'm not too sure, but today, I know she's the lightest in our whole family. <laughs> Shina, you've come a long way. You've come from my sister, which I believe I knew you since birth. I think we uh, used to bath together. I think once in a while, we used to cross-dress each other, where you used to dress like a boy and you used to make me dress like a girl. Thank God that doesn't happen anymore. However, we also grew up together. You looked after me through school with Mira. You were my guidance. You were my fire. You made me believe in things I couldn't believe I could even do. And you always shouted at me when I wouldn't do them. You always taught me things how to be naughty. I remember a crazy party. I know some of our friends there remember when uh, we threw an amazing Christmas party. And uh, Shina managed to pull about 500 people in England together from all over the country. And during this party, mom, dad, we absolutely wrecked your house. We had to repaint the house the next day. We had to change the sofas, which you never knew about, till today, till I told you. We burnt all the carpets, and yes, people vomited all over the walls. Shina, you're a great person. You put a smile on everybody you meet. One thing you gotta do, and one thing you gotta learn from mom and dad, is how to keep your bond and only make it stronger. The journey will not be easy, it will be tough. You're very independent, I know that, but you gotta Make sure you look after Jay. <laughs> Jay, 
You're an amazing person. I've known you since we're at school, since you helped me pass my economics exam, since I guaranteed you you're going to end up marrying my sister. I always knew it. I'm not going to make this a typical long speech, so I'm going to cut, cut it a bit short. But you guys are amazing together. Keep it up. Keep making each other stronger. Keep complimenting each other. Keep making it easier for each other. Don't fight. Fighting doesn't solve anything. Come together as a unit. You're now one. And learn from mum and dad. Mum, dad, what can I say, dad? You're amazing parents. Mum, you've kept this family together. You've binded us through hard times. You've let us fly during easy times. You've let us live experiences that we couldn't have even dreamt. I remember once you forced me to go parasailing and I was absolutely fearful of heights. I never told you that. But because you told me it was okay, I did it. I trusted you. So thank you so much for making Shina who she is today. And thank you so much for what you have created with me and Mira. We cannot thank you enough for everything you have done. Dad, wow, have we had a fun three years. <laughs> oh, a lot of people think it's just a father and son relationship, but it's not that. We have something way greater. We have a connection, we have a bond. A lot of parents wish they could bond like me and you, trust me, and we both see it. We have something inseparable. We fight, we argue, we scream at each other. But one thing is we both complement one another. What we're going through is not easy, but you are the most amazing man to bring all these people here together, all your friends, all your family, everyone that has gone through you with your journey. You don't forget a single person. All the way from the cleaner to the top management to the top officials, you will never forget them. And that's what I admire about you, the way you handle people and the way you love people. One thing you need to know is we're always by your side, everyone in this room. We'll stick with you, we'll stay by you, and we'll make sure whatever happens, we'll walk out laughing. Lastly, I would like to thank once again all of you, and really, from the bottom of my heart, I know a lot of you didn't have to be here today. You could have been elsewhere. You're all busy people with your day-to-day -day lives. But all of you being here today means so much to the Ruparelias. We can't express our gratitude to all of you. So lastly, I would like to raise a toast, not just for the bride and groom, but for everybody else who's here during this time with us to celebrate for the bride and the groom. Thank you so much.